Hello everyone and welcome to another monthly favorites video. Actually, I'm covering two months because if you noticed, I wasn't here last month and that's because a lot of things have happened in the last two months. Rob and I have moved and we're now in the south of Sweden in the countryside, as you can see. And uh, yeah, I'm glad to be back and sharing uh, my vegan life with you, I guess. And I look forward to sharing more videos as we reach further into this year and I get more settled here. So let's get right into it. And I thought I'd start as I usually do with things you can eat. So let's start with these little guys. Now I'm probably the last vegan to discover cliff bars. <laughs> and I guess that's how I am with most things. I roll slowly in life. But these are so good. I mean, I don't know if I'd eat this every day because to me it tastes like candy. It's so sweet, but they're amazing. And um, here I have the chocolate almond fudge and the white chocolate macadamia nut. And I've also tried the crispy peanut butter something. And I think the crispy peanut butter is my favorite actually, but we don't have those here. We just have these two. And I'd really recommend them I mean, this is like a brownie almost, and this is like a white chocolate brownie, if that's a thing. Yeah, they're amazing. You should really give them a go. Um, and I was so happy to see that you can actually order these here in Sweden as well. So, yay! And then moving on from there, I have something else, sort of snacky and... <sighs> they're so good. It's these Harvest Snacks Green Pea Wasabi bites I guess you can call them and um, I found these in Dubai and I've been saving these for almost a month and a half to show you because <laughs> I didn't want to eat them all before I could speak to you can you hear me there's a tractor behind me <laughs> anyways these are amazing they're like crispy whole beans and they're flavored with wasabi and I don't think I can find them here in Sweden, but I know you can find them in America. It's an American brand, I think. No. Hmm, product of Thailand. Sorry, I got that wrong. But I know you can get them in America because I've seen other people eat them there. And uh, you can definitely get them in Dubai and other places which are inspired by American culture, I guess. So, tip from me to you, if you find these, give them a go. And then moving on to something a little bit more humble, it's corn on the cob. And I think here in uh, Sweden, it's coming into season now, uh, or has been in season for a little while. And Rob and I have just discovered that you can put this whole thing with the husk on the uh, barbecue, on the grill. And it comes out perfect, so sweet and delicious, just with some, I don't know, salt or whatever floats your boat. Did I say that right this time? Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> I think I did. So yeah, try that, give it a go. I think it only takes like 15 minutes or so to grill these little babies. And that was more or less it for things you can eat. But I must say one thing that has really been my favorite since we moved here one month ago is berry picking. It's so nice to live somewhere where you can just go out of the house and walk into nature and find your own food. And berries are usually pretty expensive and here they are free and lining the roads and it's really amazing. I'd really recommend doing it also as a sort of meditative <laughs> experience, I guess. For me, it's really meditative to just repeat an action and I mean, you get to take home berries after, so. It's a win-win really. And I'm sure there are berry picking farms in many places if you don't have it, you know, just in nature around you. Um, but yeah, it's been really nice. And then moving on to some maybe utensil type things. And um, Rob and I, actually, we saw this first at Rob's mother's house and it's a steaming basket. And I'm sure lots of you have seen these before and have used them, but I have never come across this before I saw it at Rob's mom's house. And it's amazing. You just pop it in a pot and you fold it out 
and you place your vegetables or potatoes or whatever you're gonna steam in there and then you have water underneath and the lid on top and it will steam your vegetables without having a steaming pot or anything else fancy like that. And I actually got this one at Ikea, but I'm sure most well-stocked um, homeware stores or even maybe grocery stores will have them in some countries. Yeah, I really think this is a great little prop in the kitchen. And I also, I uh, wanted to tell you that Rob and I have got a Vitamix and it's so exciting. It just blitzes everything so smooth. And it was actually a housewarming gift from Rob's mother and father. So thank you very much for that, John and Aggie. And um, it just blends everything so smooth and it can make really hard things into paste. It can make nut butter and it's a really great tool. And I never thought we'd actually be able to have one of those in our house because I think they're really expensive. And especially here in Sweden, they're more expensive than maybe America and England. But they're, yeah, I can't stop talking about this blender. It's really, really nice to have in our house. So definitely a favorite from this last month. Then from moving into the house and being reunited with most of our items, I have been reunited also with my cookbooks. And so I just picked up At Home in the Whole Food Kitchen by Amy Chaplin again. And it's such a beautiful book. Um, I'm not sure if you've read it or not, but it's really worth getting it. It's a vegetarian cookbook, so not everything is vegan, but it has a lot of vegan um, items in here and a lot of vegan desserts. And it's just really beautiful, it has gorgeous photos and Great recipes. One of my favorite is the corn, vegan corn frittata. It's really great. And yeah, I can't recommend this book enough. And it's also great because it has sections about sort of basing cooking instructions. So how to cook grains, how to cook beans, and just goes through all the different whole foods that are available to us in this day and age. Yeah, so if you're looking for a good cookbook and you're interested in more whole food cooking and vegan food as well, then this is a great cookbook to add to your collection. And almost last but not least, I wanted to show you this um, little candle holder. And I got this with my mother at a flea market this weekend. And I think it's just so cute. It's like speckled marbly green and white. And I think it's made by some local cer ceramicist or just a home ceramicist maybe because it has Yi Passion here at the back, which is the initials obviously of the person and a Swedish person. And I got this for 10 crowns, which is the equivalent of maybe one pound. And yeah, my tip is really to go out there and see what people have thrown away as trash because it can really be your treasure and yeah i love this little thing it's beautiful and then on to some guilty pleasures my last favorite for the two months that have passed is the tv series nashville <laughs> I always feel silly talking about this because after watching Friday Night Lights, if maybe you know that series, I was heartbroken <laughs> because something about it just, uh, there's something about the characters that I just get so deep into them. It's also a, a series based in the south of uh, the United States and that one's about football, but this one is about country music. Nothing that I usually am interested in, but again, there's something so... Uh, heartwarming and heartbreaking about the characters in the series. And whilst many people would think it's trash, it's just really a really lovely show to watch. And if you're into drama, then you'll enjoy this one. And if you're into country music, you'll enjoy it too. <laughs> I'd say even if you're not into country music, you'd enjoy it. Um, yeah, all I can say is Deacon and Reina. <laughs> you have to watch it. And I'll end it here and 
I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. It's really nice to be able to share with you. And thank you so much for sharing back with me for all your comments and for clicking the like button. It really warms my heart to see all your comments. So please keep them coming. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and I'll keep the videos coming. Bye. Today Rob and I are in London, but we're heading to Gatwick in about 20 minutes.